You'll receive additional briefing material once you're established in the field. Good luck, Lieutenant. I expect to shortly see you and the Major back here in London. Welcome, ladles and jelly spoons, to the first retrospective review of 2022 here on Kai Mathie's YouTube channel. Ah, get yourself a brew and a biscuit of your choice. Sit back, relax, and get ready for some retro gaming shenanigans with me and V. We were going to start off the year by talking to you about the excavations going on at Rutland Water, but I'm afraid I just don't dig that sort of thing. Rather, let's start off the year by looking at an overlooked classic PC title, Ladles and Jelly Spoons, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. Medal of Honor. Rated T for team. EA Games. Challenge everything. Medal of Honor Allied Assault is a first person shooter video game developed by 2015 Inc. It was published by Electronic Arts and released for PC on January 22nd, 2002 in North America and on February 15th, 2002 in Europe. Aspire published the Mac OS X version that released later that year in August. A Linux version was eventually released in 2004. Allied Assault is the third game in the Medal of Honor series and January 2022 marks its 20th anniversary. For those of you that don't know, here is a little bit of background. The Medal of Honor series of first-person shooter video games started back in 1999 with the release of Medal of Honor by DreamWorks Interactive for Sony's original little grey box, the PlayStation. A follow-up game, Medal of Honor Underground, was released in 2000 and the series currently spans 17 games across games consoles, PC and Mac. The first 12 instalments take place during World War II. The main characters are usually elite members of the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS, whilst later games focus on modern warfare. The story of the first three games was created by film director and producer Steven Spielberg. The last in Steven Spielberg's trilogy being Medal of Honor Allied Assault. The game uses the ID Tech 3 engine with modifications from Heavy Metal Flak 2 to simulate infantry combat in the European and North African theatres of war during World War II. In Medal of Honor Allied Assault, the player takes on the role of Lieutenant Mike Powell of the United States Army Rangers, who works with the Office of Strategic Services. Single player missions include assaulting a Nazi base in Algiers and Norway, storming Omaha Beach on D-Day and rescuing comrades behind enemy lines in occupied France. As this was the last game in Steven Spielberg's trilogy, many critics and reviewers at the time compared some of the game's levels, most notably the Omaha Beach mission, to Spielberg's 1998 film Saving Private Ryan. Ah, did you know that uh, the Omaha Beach sequence was so successful that it was in the next Medal of Honor game, Medal of Honor Frontline, that was a console-only release? All right now, Pat, if you're interested in video game facts, then you really should be checking out my Friday 5-minute fact videos. If check them out. I'm, I'm in them, you them donkey. Them. Oh, you're yeah, doing it. Right. Please do check them out at the end of this video. But now, ladles and jelly spoons, this is the first retrospective review of the year, and I'm sure all of you at home are asking yourself one thing. I can assure you, no, it's not that big, it's just a trick of the light. But I can also tell you the answers to last week's quiz. Yes. The answer to question one, well, that was about the great lovers of history. And the answers were Anthony and Cleopatra, uh, Troilus and Cressida, and of course, Anton Deck. Right, then came the geography question. Uh, the hills that we were asking you to find were uh, Richmond, Primrose, and Fanny. Uh, well, most of you got your Richmond, some of you got Primrose, and all of you Providing voices for various members of the cast in Medal of Honor Allied Assault, we have... 
Stephen J. Bloom, who is a well-respected and much-credited voice actor, people may recognise him as the voice of Toro Higashi from 2001's Lost Judgment. Kai Wolf is a voice actor known for voicing Baron Stucker in Killing Floor 2, but has somewhat made a career for himself doing additional voices in both the Medal of Honor and Call of Duty series. Some of you might remember Kai from the 1986 movie The Three Amigos, where he played the German. Hey, I'm talking to you. Where'd you get that pretty little guy? I'm meeting some friends of mine here. When they get here, tell them to wait. How will I know them? You will know them. You will most certainly know them. Hey. Why don't you come over here and sit on my lap? I want to show you something, honey. With a comment. Nicholas Guest, who also voiced Marcus in The Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen 2, but some might recognise him from his role in Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan. And if the name sounds familiar, that's because Nick is the brother of Lord Christopher Hayden Guest, the fifth Baron Hayden Guest. Screenwriter, composer, musician, director, actor and comedian, best known for his 1984 film This Is Spinal Tap. No, oh, Nick and I share a birthday, you know. And lastly, Eddie Fearson, who is probably best known for providing the voice of Ken Masters in the 1995 film Street Fighter II, the animated movie. Much like Kai Wolf, he's also made a very nice career for himself as a voice behind many of the Power Rangers monsters over the years. The music of Medal of Honor Allied Assault, however, is far more standout. Composed by Oscar, Emmy and three times Grammy winner Michael Giacchito, who is composed for films such as Mission Impossible, Jurassic Park, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story and the upcoming film The Batman starring Robert Pattinson, the soundtrack is available on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify and of course here on YouTube, but only actually consists of five tracks, as Allied Assault reused various tracks from the original Medal of Honor and Medal of Honor Underground soundtracks which were also composed by Jaquito. I will say that whilst I very much enjoyed the Allied Assault soundtrack, it isn't one that I listen to very regularly. Okay, being honest, Medal of Honor Allied Assault might not be a classic, it may very well just be another pebble in the pond of the Second World War shooters that were coming out at the time, although Allied Assault can say at least that it was one of the first, as it wasn't until a few years later that the video gaming community would start getting tired of the Second World War being used as a backdrop and framing device for video games. But for its time I thought it was brilliant, it was a game that was just more of what us video game fans wanted. Again, being 100% honest I'm not sure I can recommend this game today, because it does really live in a very nostalgic niche. What I'm trying to say is that if you really do want to experience some retro first person shooting from the early 2000s, this game is one of the best examples that you are going to get. Ah, we'd, uh, we'd love to see what Mr. B say, uh, thinks of the game. Well, that about wraps it up for this, the first retrospective review of 2022. Please do let us know what you thought by clicking the like button or the dislike button. And if you have anything to say about the review, then please do let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to share this video out with your chums and any wargaming fans that you might know. If this is your first time seeing this mush and would like to see more, then please do check out the channel and consider subscribing. It is, after all, free. And finally, I'll leave you with this. Why doesn't lipstick stick your lips together? Cheerio, see you Friday.